Hello there. This is a let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. This is my next let's play. 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 Let's play Super Mario Galaxy, episode 38. Hey, if you take 38 and add it to 76, which is the number of stars I have, you get 114. And without 100, that's 14, and today's the 14th day of the month. Totally planned that. Which means it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. I'm getting you this uh, video for the holiday. What are you getting me? I can surmise that since you are watching a YouTube video today that you are lonely. But you can also surmise that since I am posting a YouTube video today, that I am also lonely. Maybe even more so. So we can be... We don't have to be lonely, though. We can be together together. That's right. Mario meets Mario. So I guess that means he's going to be his own Valentine for today. That's, that's fine. It's probably a wise move. I guess he's just tired of being tied down to that constantly kidnapped beach blonde ball and chain that is Princess Peach. Yeah. I don't blame you, man. Plus, I heard she, like, never even puts out when she gets rescued, which I'm pretty sure Mario does twice every weekend, so... Look at that hearts. How appropriate. Also, totally planned. <laughs> uh, Luigi's Valentine this year will, of course, be that tree. He does love that tree. Um, okay, so here's what's going down here. I, like, did this... St oh, like, I started doing this star... And I, like, I hadn't even started recording yet, because my brain decided to be like, <laughs> not working today. Um, so, just pretend that... Ow. First of all, pretend that didn't happen, and pretend this uh, sling star here uh, was once a hungry Luma. Because it was, it required 50 star bits to feed it. And, you know, if you're disappointed in not having seen that, just consider it me sparing you another, like, vaguely orgasmic Hungry Luma explosion. <laughs> and the box says E for everyone. <laughs> Hardly. Let's get the, uh, what's that, the Parents Against Everything? <laughs> what's that organization, that ridiculous organization called that, like, is mad if you say, like, penis on t television? I don't know. They're probably gonna get mad that I just said it in a Let's Play part. Whatever. We have four really random star bits. <laughs> I guess it was that guy's collection. Sorry, man. It's gonna work forever getting those. Yeah, so this star... Pushing buttons. It's, uh... I know it's a complex concept. Let me, let me explain it to you. Um, see, all these buttons are blue and have question marks. When you press them they turn yellow and have an exclamation point on them. You need to turn all of the buttons into exclamation points. If uh, you still have not grasped the concept of this star, please rewind the video and listen to that explanation again. I'll be here when you get back. Um, I think this is just the last one, I think. Yay! Again, we're getting close to the part of the game that I kind of don't remember as well. Mostly because, like, I've played this game all the way through, like, twice, but I've also played this game, like, three-fourths or two-thirds of the way through, like, maybe three times. It's because, you know, it's a, it's a great game. So, anyway, there we go. There's a star. I never noticed the windows in the background. That's pretty cool, I guess. It's supposed to be like a... A kid's bedroom or something? Is that what it's supposed to be? I don't know. I don't know why I'm trying to figure it out, man. I don't know. The flip switch chain. See, I could have sworn that star was going to be like, we ran out of ideas, so press some buttons. Alright. Let's go <gasps> back to toy time. And let's do the actual star this time. I suppose for nostalgia purposes... This is one of the most memorable stars in the game. Yeah. That'll be good. Well, this looks familiar. 
think that was the first time I ever chose to skip that opening. Here's what you find in the level thing. So once again, the train. I'm uh, glad the train is like way on the other side, so like you have to wait. So it gives you a nice long time to line up that difficult jump. <laughs> Sorry. Good. More hearts. All right, and now we have to do everyone's favorite: get these star chips. Let's get one off of Beamos's head here. Is that or laser trash can? I don't know. Let's vote on the name. Come up with a name for that guy. I'll probably be seeing him again. Do you like Beamos? Do you like Laser Trash Can? I don't know. I'm, all of a sudden, I'm a, I'm a fan of Laser Trash Can. By the way, Laser Trash Can, band name, don't steal it. Alright. Get away from those turtles. Whatever. <laughs> those mecha fire turtles. I'm not sure what toy this is supposed to be. It doesn't look like a giant toy so much as it does like a giant torture device. Once again, E for everyone? I think not. False advertising. Alright. And come all the way down here, ribbed for pleasure, and grab this. Wow, that might be the most conveniently placed sling star in the history of the world. Well, that's it. Just two planetoids. Oh, that's a nice short one. Okay. Yes, lava and disappearing platforms and spinning platforms. This is this is just this is just great stuff. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Although you do have to like not screw yourself over for the trip back. You have to be able to have enough platforms so you can get back to the place you started, because that's where the star is going to appear. That's maybe the only surprise that this section has. There we go. Maybe this, maybe this star would be more memorable to me, memorable to me, if, like, it wasn't on lava and contained the most dickish platforms in the game. <laughs> Maybe then it would be more memorable for me, but whatever. So there you go. Um, we will be returning to this area late in the game for a um, super secret star um, on the other side of that planetoid, which is kind of notorious for being one of the hardest um, stars in the game to get. Uh, it's pretty hard. Anyway, now that Mario met himself, I'm sure there's some existential essays you could write about that. Let's go back. Oh! It's a comet! I just pooped and peed and barfed. All at the same time. It was weird. It'd be really weird to watch what I just did. Fast Foe Comet in Orbit! Yes! I think this is only the second... Fast Foe's a toy time. Alliteration. I think this is only the second and last Fast Foe's Comet, I think, in the game. Because really, I guess there's not much they could do with it. And I'm not complaining... <coughs> oh, sorry about that. The voice just went... Ah! I'm not complaining because it means... I don't have to race Cosmic Mario again. Um, Alright, so, yeah, same thing, only faster. Let's uh, place bets on how many times I'm going to die. Alright, now, place, place your bets! Um, eh. Okay, well, that was one. All right, rest of the video right here. Yes, I guess I would like to try. Try. Does that pop up every time? I think that's only if you're doing a comet star. All right. Yes, indeed. I guess um, the powers that be at Nintendo thought this um, button pressing conundrum was so exciting that it had to be included twice into the game. And you know what? I agree with their decision. Nah. Alright. I think these might be the hardest ones. Just... You know what? Crud. The button is the safest way to go, because all the other ways aren't safe. That was an awesome sentence. Good job. Um, okay, those might be the three hardest buttons to get. 
Probably. I don't know. Well, those, those things can kill you instantly. These spike platforms, while possibly moving faster than they did before, can still only hurt you for one damage. They move pretty fast. What kind of jump was that? Go home, Super Mario Galaxy. You're drunk. Yeah, okay. Sorry for contributing to that. I think enough people have used that joke in the history of the internet. I don't need to proliferate it. In other news, how about these buttons? Button, button, who's got the button? Mario does. I'm, I refuse to go down that pipe, by the way. I don't, I don't care to see what's down there. It's probably star bits or a one-up or something. I simply refuse! They can go down there and win the game. Well, shut up. I think that was it. Hooray. Now, if I don't die on my way back... Dang. I've only been doing this for like 11 minutes and... Third star already. What can I say? Pretty good. Because these things stop. That's kind of them. Right. That was... Fairly easy. Only once I died on that. Disappointing? Were you hoping I died more? I don't know. I never know what viewers want. Do they like a lot of fail? Do they don't like a lot of fail? One of the tricky parts of being a Let's Player. Uh, well, you know what? I could uh, go in and do another one. I'm not sure if I have enough time, though, so... I think I'm just going to call it there. Call it quits. And, um... Well, yeah, there you go. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.